welcome to Watts Weekly. I'm Lucas Graciano, and today I want to talk a little bit about my experience um, breaking into the industry. Uh, I work in fantasy illustration and um, talk a little bit about kind of where I started and um, where I'm at now, and hopefully some of the information I give you will, will give you uh, an idea of, of what to expect as you pursue your own careers. So I started out in visual development and video games. I worked for Sony doing uh, storyboards, character designs, environment designs, pretty much anything they needed me to draw, I was drawing that. Um, I found pretty quickly that it wasn't for me. Um, I felt it was too fast paced and uh, too much of a get it done by yesterday mentality where I, it, was, it was really kind of swimming upstream for my personality. I like to sit down and focus on rendering and making a, a single piece look pretty. So um, I think illustration was more of a natural fit for me. But the good thing about working in the visual development is I, I got a sense for what it was. Um, I had a romantic idea of what it was about, but um, when I actually worked in it, I realized it wasn't for me, but it allowed me to continue to train. Um, I was making decent money and able to um, further the growth I needed to be able to do illustration work. So um, once I had uh, developed enough skills, I, I put a portfolio together and I was pitching that around to different art directors. I was going online. Um, there was various forums that you could go to to post your work and um, hopefully get feedback or get noticed by um, other people in the industry that could essentially bring, uh, put your name out there and, and get your work uh, out in the eyes of the right people. So um, having a good uh, social um, presence is very important, especially in this day and age. Most art directors are on Instagram, they're on Facebook, they're on art station and they're looking at the different um, artwork that's on there and potential artists that they could use for the next project. Um, Spectrum, um, submitting into art contests like Spectrum, um, IBA, those kind of things will help get your work in front of the eyes of the right people. Um, but ha people aren't going to come seek you out uh, per se. You have to be out there and have a have a presence uh, online and even networking going to shows and talking to uh, various art directors and other artists and getting feedback and taking it honestly taking the feedback uh, and the critiques uh, in, in a way where you can make adjustments in your work and, and hopefully get better skills or better make better choices about how you're you're producing work um, and um, hopefully get the work that you want to get but uh, for me, I was pitching my book around for a couple of years before I got any work. Um, and I, I was decent, you know. Um, the work I was doing back then when I first started was in 2010 or 9 or earlier, I just, I couldn't, I didn't have quite the skills I needed to do illustration work. Um, but I continued to train. I kept doing the life drawing classes. I kept doing the plain air, the still life painting, the portrait painting, all the core stuff. I kept training, kept figuring out how my materials worked, how I wanted the look of my work to look, um, and just kind of figuring it out. Uh, everyone learns at different paces, so maybe I took longer than some, maybe faster than others. It's just trying not to compare yourself, I think, to other people as, as you're coming up. And, and even now, um, as a professional, I've been doing this for 10 years now, and it's there's always going to be somebody out there who's doing something a little better than you are. Um, or different and you know the grass is always greener kind of idea so you really want to focus on what you're doing and just try to uh, do the best job with the skills that you have at the time you have them the industry will let you know when you're ready you'll start getting work regularly um, but it's it's a grind in the beginning for sure uh, like I said I was rejected a number of times before I eventually got work um, but you know, start out with some some smaller companies. Uh, let them help you grow your portfolio. And um, for me, that's what I had done. I worked for a smaller studio that um, didn't pay quite as much, but I was able to find my voice in my paintings. There was a little less um, feeling of um, restrictions there because they they their budget was smaller, so they didn't expect quite as much from their artists. There wasn't as much back and forth and feedback, so I got to kind of just. Be a little more free and open where some studios later on you tend to uh, they want a little bit more um, continuity between the artists so you really need to adapt their style or um, hit a higher level of, of quality that can be very competitive and very tough uh, especially in the beginning so starting out with those smaller companies was one of the best things i ever did and um, 
within reason. There's some companies that can take advantage, and you got to be careful of that. But um, you know, I was I was um, doing card art for one company, and it just it really helped me develop the look I wanted in my paintings. So um, you got to start somewhere. You just try to be smart about it. Um, the, the companies that you choose, uh, the work that you choose to take, but. Um, yeah, as you move forward, you start kind of pitching towards those higher goals. Like maybe you want to work for Magic the Gathering. That's a that's a very popular brand that a lot of artists want to work on that are in my genre. Um, it's a great uh, way to build a fan base. They have a huge community and um, one of the best brands I've ever worked on. And they are 90% of what I do um, just because they're such a good company. Um, so you want to have those goals for later on, but... Be realistic about how long it's going to take to get to those points. If your skill level is not there, go back and train. Figure out something that's not working uh, in your your own skill level. Um, you know, run towards your weaknesses and try to tackle them straight on. Um, so uh, for me, I also choose to um, part of my career is is painting traditionally. Now, this isn't for everyone. Most of the students that come to our school end up doing digital work. Uh, in this industry because it's way more practical. It's faster, it's slightly easier because of the um, adjustments that you can make fairly quick. In oil paints, I have a couple behind me. They are, if you mess up, it's repainting a whole area and, and starting almost from scratch in some spots. But for me, I've made a career based on selling original work as well. So you think about the back end stuff. You get your commission up front, then you've got prints, merchandise, um, if you're doing anything that's not licensed work, you could potentially license out the, the images. Um, so, and then you've got collectors who are buying up original work and um, that's, that's a big part of my income now per year. So be smart about how you shape your career. Uh, think a little bit ahead, ahead, of, ahead of time about what, where you wanna go, What's what your main goals are? Um, you know, it's it's always hard to kind of judge how much money you want to make in this industry because it does fluctuate quite a bit. Some months are better than others, and um, you just have to plan for those those times ahead. But for me, I just love oil painting. Also, I mean, I getting in and 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 uh, moving the paint around with my my thumb, and and you know, you, you can kind of get in. And for me, it's just there's the romantic side of it that I really enjoy um, instead of staring at a screen all day. So, um, and I'm not discounting digital artists. There's some, some of my favorite artists, favorite artists are digital artists. So, um, in the end, it comes down to your particular, uh, style and how you want to tell a story and compose an image. Um, the materials are, you know, it doesn't matter if you're good, you're good. You can use whatever you want to use to make it, it work right. Uh, I've seen a number of artists do lots of different types of uh, material work that, uh, is competitive in the industry and, and can apply. But anyway, I hope all that helps a little bit. Uh, there's a lot more, obviously, but um, I'll encourage you to go out, be on, be on the forums, go look at other, you know, follow the people on Instagram and, that you really like. And uh, a lot of times they're giving you tips and tricks. Um, the Watts Weekly is a great source for coming in and getting little inside uh, uh, pro tips. But um, yeah, good luck to, your, to you and your career. And uh, I hope uh, some of this helped you. Thank you.